What I like about Vortex Optics is they listen to their customers. You can tell from their progression of scopes from when they first came out 10 or 15 years ago all the way up to their scopes now. Um, some of their, most of the scopes used in the PRS or the Precision Rifle Series, uh, especially in the Finale, was I believe 60 or 70 percent uh, Vortex razors. That's a big compliment to a scope maker. And what I like about Vortex is they have a way to find the, to put their little niche into the market. Um, especially with like the PST line. This is the Vortex. This is their uh, higher end model. But they have a PXT, uh, PST line which has been popular for the last few years. It's been the most affordable scope. I think you get the most out of an optic for the money. Um, you actually have turrets and stuff that track uh, true from what I've seen. Uh, they do come with a zero stop. They got all the features that you would love in a high-end scope but at an affordable price. Um, and then they came along with the Vortex Defender flip caps which is once again they slide right into the market where it's lacking. Um, Butler Creeks have been around for years and years. Uh, ever since I was a kid uh, my dad had these on rifle scopes and I don't think they were necessarily because they were the best they could get. Look at that, it just popped up on its own. I don't think they're the best that they can get. It was basically just all that was on the market and they had a pretty, they did good with advertisement and it was all over the place. But the scope caps are lacking um, big time. So over the last few years, um, I kind of progressed in scopes. I got a little better and a little better and a little better. And it got to the point where these Butler Creeks weren't cutting it and my optics were a little too pricey for putting something like this on it. Uh, we all know about Tenebrex. Tenebrex has been around for a while. Uh, they make quality, super quality stuff. Uh, when you buy Tenebrex, you basically buy a system. Uh, they basically have an insert that threads to the interior of the objective and then you snap the, the cover over the top. It's a solid lockup. They're built like a truck, but they're expensive. They're, uh, I believe, around $125. Um, but you get what you pay for. So if you got the money to pay for the Tenebrex, you're going to get the best scope covers on the market. But a lot of people don't have money like that. Same with uh, something like spur mounts. Uh, not a lot of people have $400 to spend on a set of spur mounts, but if you do, you're going to get the best on the market. So what Vortex does, similar to what they did with the PST line, where they slid in, gave you an affordable scope. Look at that, it just pops up on its own. They give you an affordable scope. Um, with all the features of a higher end scope. They did the same thing with their Vortex Defender caps. They claim these are indestructible. I don't know, I haven't really tried to smash any lately. But uh, as far as the build construction and quality, uh, they feel like uh, a well-made piece. I don't think you can go wrong with these. Um, Vortex sells these as in singles. So you basically buy a rear and you buy a front. If you buy them together, just match up your uh, objective and your eyepiece with their diagram and order the set, but they would come in um, uh, by themselves. If you buy them together, obviously they'd come to you in a, as a pair, but what's cool about them is similar to what Butler Creek tried to do, and maybe back in the day they didn't have a whole lot of options as far as uh, build construction with, uh, with polymer and stuff like that. They used a rubber outer shell, similar to what Vortex did here, or this is uh, the Butler Creek. They used a rubber, but it's not really uh, a flexible rubber and then they just built like an average the caps just cheap plastic you can tell that and uh, on the interior here they put a little they put a little rim in there uh, you're not gonna be able to see it but they put a little rim in there and the whole point of the rim was when you slide this onto your scope it's gonna the the objective is gonna butt up against that rim and it can't go any farther so it gives you the ability to close the cap and when your scope comes in here, it's supposed to expand this a little bit. And as that expands, it puts it kind of opens up this um, this little lip here, which snaps the cap cover down. Um, but like you can see on this one, I don't know if I got a bad batch or what, but the last set I bought of these, I can't get these to stay. Look at, I can't get them to stay closed, and I'm not sure why. So I ended up by picking up a few sets of these Vortex Defender caps, and they've been basically all they've been all they're cracked up to be. Um, like Vortex, they listen to their customers and they come out with a product that fits the market that uh, that's affordable. So they did this similar to what Butler Creek did with their rubber uh, on the back in here that goes over the scope. But Vortex used good rubber. I mean, this is like uh, rubber to a bicycle tire, but thicker. So the rubber gives you the ability so that it doesn't slip on the scope itself. Um, they also put a big 
heavy duty lip in here. And that lip, once again, is going to butt up against the, the, the rim of the scope and it's not going to let it go any further. Um, this is basically, I don't know how you would destroy something like this, it's like 90% rubber. And then just the cap and this piece here is the only thing that's plastic, but this is heavy duty, um, heavy duty plastic. You can tell by how big this is up here. Uh, it's got a uh, beefed up spring inside of there. You get plenty of uh, a spring and it locks up solid. Um, let me slide this on. And basically you got to stretch that rubber to get it to go over the scope. And they go on, uh, they're tight. But once you get it on, you can see you can't push it any farther. The, the outside of the scope is butt, butt up against that rim on the inside. And then your lock up here is solid. And with my, my rings are pretty close to the scope here. These have two little wings on them, so I kind of got to be vertical with this. Uh, maybe your scope's set up differently. But uh, the rear, and when this is popped open, it comes back at a 45. The rear is the same construction. Uh, it's got their the rubber gasket, but it's thick. I mean, it's not thin, and it's uh, it's kind of soft, so you can tell it's it's going to slide on. It's not going to go anywhere. So, uh, what they did with the rear cap was you can pop the cap open, and it goes up vertical, and that's cool. Once again, Vortex, listen to their customers. They made little dope disc cards that go on the inside here. You basically order on their website. You put in your information for the bullet uh, caliber or the bullet weight that you're going to use with your bullet drop. You can order it off your website and then uh, the, the discard pops on the inside of the cap. And because this pops up vertical, you can have this on your scope and then just look and get your, uh, your adjustments for your turrets, make your adjustment and you don't have to move your head at all. You don't have to look at like a wrist coach or something. Um, so that's a cool little feature they have. Uh, it also goes back at a 45, so if you want to go back at a 45 degree angle, you can do that too. And it goes vert, uh, flat. So when this is on the scope, and it's snug. When this is on the scope, you can, uh, you can go vertical, like I said, a 45 or it lays completely flat, which gives you the ability to look over the top of your scope so you still get a good field of view. So if anybody's in the market looking for uh, scope caps, I suggest uh, checking out these Defender caps. Um, they're all they're cracked up to be. They're affordable um, and they're well made. Uh, I think they're $19.99 on, on their website on Vortex Optics. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay. They have them basically all over the place. If you want to order the uh, the dope card you do have to go off their website and what I did was uh, they give you these little white inserts I don't know why but I'm just gonna write my information on the dope insert and uh, I'm gonna use that so I switch a lot of I like to reload and I mess around with a lot of different bullets so it doesn't really make sense for me to order a designated card for a designated bullet if I'm just gonna change the powder change the bullet and my impacts gonna be different downrange so I just wanted to share that with you guys. If uh, anybody's looking for uh, quality scope caps, definitely check out these uh, Defender caps. Um, they put Butler Creek to shame. I'll never buy another set. Thanks for watching.